caught you on a tough day, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I'm healing up a little bit here. Steve uh, Caballero is a skateboarding icon, and his home is a museum of memories. In his early 20s, Steve became the world champion in both street and vert. How did you do that? Um, practice, practice, practice. In 1989, Vans named a shoe after Caballero. I'm pretty sure I wore your skateboard shoe. Oh, the Vans half cab. Yeah. Star Wars even teamed up with Vans to make a black half cab Darth Vader shoe and then a white Yoda shoe. After all, Steve is skateboarding royalty who still pals around with Mike McGill and Tony Hawk. It's amazing. You know, it's cool. I go over there for Halloween, um, 4th of July. Uh, he invites me to movie premieres. Caballero is a father of three in his 50s and recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, the, uh, the awards and injuries keep coming. <laughs> Steve loves riding motorcycles almost as much as he loves skateboarding. He recently broke his femur going too fast, which freed up time for his artwork. Indian Motorcycles asked him to design a limited edition tank cover. I, I was blown away when I got that call. I was like, I'm not going to say no to this opportunity. I mean, how many artists get to be picked to draw a tank cover for Indian Motorcycles? Art has always been a hobby for Steve, but taking things to the next level is in his DNA. My inspiration right here, Evil Knievel. <laughs> he was the epitome of courage. Caballero's collection includes hundreds of Evil Knievel items. Is that an Evil Knievel pinball machine? It is. I mean, who else owns an Evil Knievel bike? <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel the power? I can feel the power. <laughs> it takes a special person to jump when they don't know exactly how they'll land. I, I, I think I have a little loco in my, my head a little bit. <laughs> in the Zevely Zone. Is that cool? <laughs> Jeff Zevely, News.